I don't think I'm alone here, but gents, I think me and you are on the same page. We shower with one soap. That soap is used for your hair, your body, everything. And if I'm alone, that's probably why I'm bald because <laughs> I've always done that. I don't have body wash, shampoo, conditioner, whatever's in the shower, that one thing, I use it for everything. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Warwick and you're watching Gas Tax. And right now we are in the middle of my 2022 Winnebago 2801 build series. Now, all the build stuff I'm doing now is mostly just accessorizing. Later on, beginning of next year, I will be doing modifications, solar, plumbing, all the fun stuff. But I wanted to do the easy stuff so you guys knew what to do if you wanted to upgrade your camper a little and you know because it's nice and easy so if you're interested in checking out the other videos i've done there's about four out there now there's a link down below check those out but today we're gonna go all over the must-have bathroom accessories sitting on the couch is everything we're going to be working on today and one of the most important things especially if you're boondocking is getting this oxygenics shower head this actually helps quite a bit so what the oxygenic shower head does is it actually makes it feel like you're getting more water because it spreads it and adds some air to it but it uses less water than the traditional shower head firstly the traditional shower heads are pretty cheap and terrible this one is great i have one on my other camper use that exclusively when boondocking and it works perfect so let's jump into installing that. Before we jump in, let's go over some features. I'm gonna read off the box because I can't remember all of this. It uses 28% less water than 2.5 gallons per minute shower heads. It's designed specifically for high performance in RVs, whatever that means. I know when I shower, it's always in high performance mode. And then it has smart pulse smart pause valve so you know all RVs you have that little twisty shower head so you can shut it off this one's a bit easier it's just a push button to shut off the water you know you apply your shampoo then when you're rubbing your shampoo in you can hit the water so you don't have to change the settings of hot and cold so that's great comes with a new hose it comes with a new mount it stalls in minutes 60 inch hose it comes with the plumbing tape yeah so you know it's everything you need to replace your shower head. So I'm gonna open this and install it. Now before we install it, this is the current shower head. As you can see, nothing fancy. This is faux looking metal. There's a kink in this pipe already. This is the on off I was talking about. Not an overall good looking shower head. Uh, the Oxygenics does come in white as well as stainless. So I just went with stainless. I think I'm gonna leave this mount here and use the other one maybe down here. I'll just save it because maybe we can put it down here for when my kids shower. So it's pretty straightforward. All you gotta do is loosen this and then we're in business. Pretty self-explanatory. Same sort of faux metal uh, hose except this one doesn't have a kink. We've got the shower head, the mount, the double-sided tape for that, uh, with the plumber's tape, some screws. And yeah, I'm gonna install it and show you what it looks like when it's done. In the spirit of educating some of you guys, if you don't know what plumber's tape is, plumber's tape you put around the threads, it helps prevent the leaking. This plumber's tape is thicker than the actual thread, so you just gotta peel it off so it doesn't restrict the flow here, and then make sure it doesn't touch this gasket, because then it'll interfere with the gasket as well. So now I will just screw that on there, and we should be good to go. As it is installed, so it fits on the current stock mount here. Uh, here's where I put the shut off. Now, it is winter here, and it's cold in the camper overnight because I don't heat it. So this is pretty rigid right now and looks terrible. So the camper is winterized now, but I'm going on a trip later. And when I go on my first trip, I'm going to get the water hot, and I'm going to, once the hot water's on, I'm just going to leave the hot water in the pipe. That will be able to let me shape it, and it will relax more naturally. If you wanted to skip that, you could just dip the, get a bucket, put all of this in hot water, let it sit for maybe five minutes, and then you'll be able to shape it right away. But so far, it looks good. Now here is the other mount that it came with. I'm thinking I might put it down here, but I will save this for when I'm actually out on the road and the kids are using it to see if I even need this. I don't want to drill unnecessary holes, but I will save it in the cabinet for later. Hi! All right, on to the next thing. Keeping in spirit of in the shower, we're gonna look at the soap dispenser. Now, the reason I love the soap dispenser. Firstly, I've mentioned before, we move basically every night, so I don't want to use this ledge for soaps, because then every time we move, we gotta move the soap and whatever. 
So that ledge is pointless for me. We're never gonna use it. So the soap dispenser gives us the ability to put all our soap in there and it's always ready and it's always ready to move and pack up. So that's why I use the soap dispenser. Here's everything in the box. You got the mount plate, you got the dispenser, you got some silicone, uh, some double-sided tape, a lid, and then labels. I don't think I'm alone here, but gents, I think me and you are on the same page. We shower with one soap. That soap is used for your hair, your body, everything. And if I'm alone, that's probably why I'm bald because <laughs> I've always done that. I don't have body wash, shampoo, conditioner, whatever's in the shower, that one thing, I use it for everything. But it's nice to have the labels here. Uh, normally I just take up one and then my wife and then uh, her, her shampoo and conditioner. So unfortunately there's no screws because this really needs to be screwed in, uh, not double sided tape. But as I've told you, I always carry screws and I have a stainless steel set there. So I'm gonna mount this and then I'll show you what it looks like. One thing about this 2801 bathroom, it is tiny. Let me just show you. So it is tiny. This is a 2022. The 2023, they've actually moved this wall so your beds are smaller and they've made the shower bigger as far as this way and this way because they've also put a whole storage shelf in here. So the way I see that is there's two tiles here. There's a third tile on the 20, 23 the width may be the same but i don't think it is that you know rv floor plans are always wrong but uh the shower is definitely the whole bathroom is a different size because that back door is smaller on the new one so that means this wall moved over so i believe the whole bathroom is different but anyways back to my point this is the issue if i put this here i can't put the shower head there then my kids can also play with the soap and waste it all if i put it up here then my kids can't use it if they're showering so i think i'm actually going to put it here and then we'll see if we need the other shower holder for my kids but here i can still reach it without bending down i don't want to put it here because this is a narrow shower right it's already narrow as it is so i think that's where i'm going to do it i put the double tie the tape on the back just to hold some rigidity now i'm going to drill or screw it in there using the silicone around the screw this is uh, mounted to the wall as you can see very sturdy now to label this so again we've got three spots here this is going to be shower, uh, shampoo and conditioner for my wife and kids and now to choose a label for me ah gel douche i'm gonna go with gel this douche up well, there you go guys uh now i'm just gonna refer to taking a shower as a douche there it is not the ideal spot but it's gonna have to work so on to the next thing Alrighty guys, moving on to all the rest of the accessories. So I need tile hangers. So we've got four right here. I need, uh, this is a clothesline dryer, so I put this in the shower. Here's a hand towel holder, and then a toilet roll holder. Now this does come in a different color. I like this one because it's a uh, double-sided tape, but all the actual, you know, plumbing hardware is stainless. So the toilet roll holder is gonna be here. I don't know why RVs don't include it. Then I'm gonna put the hand towel holder right here. It does not interfere with the vanity. And the hand towel will be here. Then I'll install one, two, three, four towel holders. So this wall will be towels. And then for the hanger, I'm gonna put the hanger mount here and then the little clip here. And this is where we can dry clothes. So I'm gonna finish the shower so we can move on to putting everything on this wall. All right guys, I wanna show you what I've done here. So this is the mount for the retractable clothes hanger. I've pre-drilled the hole, and now I put the screw in a little bit. And now, using the silicone that came with this, and that's what's cool about doing all the accessories at once, normally they supply you everything. I'm gonna put some silicone on the thread back here, and then while I'm putting it in, it will seal these holes. So I'm gonna mount this and I'll show you what it looks like afterwards. Right, so that's what I do. And now I'm just gonna screw this in and it will pull all that silicone in the thread and whatever's not, it's gonna seal up the hole to make sure it's watertight. And there you have it. You can see the silicone's come out at the side a bit and it's come through the hole. So this is 100% waterproof now. Obviously it needs to dry. So I'm going to mount that, put one across here for the, the latch and then I'll show you the final product. I don't know if you guys know how to use this. So if you 
retract this. That's how obviously it will be all the time when I need to dry something. I pull this out, clip it in, and then you tighten this. And that removes the ability for more wire to retract. And now it can hold wet, heavy things. Everything in the shower needs to be done is done except for this. This drives me insane. Also my last can, but there's a protective film on this window on the outside that catches all the, you know, RV sawdust. So maybe I'll quickly remove this, remove that protective film and put this back up. Pretty straightforward to remove that. This is where I, I would wish Winnebago would just take that extra three minutes to improve quality control. Look at all the sawdust. Now this is a mess that I have to clean up. Um, that's what it was, so that's fine. But this is the protective film. That's as easy as it would take Winnebago to fix this because the sawdust here it just doesn't scream good brand but anyways that's simple fix you guys can do it there's not even silicone around here I would recommend you put a bead of silicone around here because this is where all that moisture is going to go into your ceiling if you're going to keep your camper long or well, just do it in general because even if you sell it you want to be the nice seller so I'm going to do that throw a bead of silicone silicone around here and screw this back up look how nice that looks up there I put some silicone around there so I recommend everyone does that now let's get to this wall I'm not gonna bore you with any of that. I'll show you the final product. Alrighty guys, let me show you what we're working with. So the reason I went with black hardware was strictly because of that. I mean, you didn't need to, could have gone with silver. But here's the hand towel right by the sink. This does not interfere because this is as much as this opens. I've got uh, four there. And obviously we have extra here if we need it. But the reason I put these at this height is so the towel is not touching the floor. And why they close together is, is the toilet roll holder. Now, I always do these verticals in camper because then the roll doesn't bounce off. But here we go. So this is where the towel will go. Obviously, the other towel starts about there. But that's a good towel rack, if you will. So all of that is done. Now, the last things to do is just put the accessories in the bathroom. So I recommend a first aid kit, snake bite kit, I don't know, kids, whatever, dog. I just get that, it's like 12 bucks or something. And then this is the Happy Camper Odor Free Toilet uh, Treatment, if you will. So those are just gonna live inside of the vanity or the, the cupboard here. But other than that, guys, I think the bathroom is done. So guys, what do you think? Which upgrade are you gonna do to your bathroom? Now, there are four more videos out. If you wanna go check those, there's more coming. The next video I'm going to do is gonna do everything to do with the kitchen. So there's a lot of different accessories here we're gonna go in the kitchen so stay tuned for that but guys thanks a lot for tuning in hit the subscribe button if you find this information helpful but thanks and i'll see you next time